hi guys good morning welcome back again to my channel if it's your first time to live in you are most definitely welcome in this channel i film about food most especially diy and my lifestyle what i do on a regular basis is what i get to share in this channel if you like this kind of content why not join the family by clicking on the subscribe button to subscribe absolutely free this could be good for me lately i was feeling in today's video i want to be discussing some of the things i wish i knew when i was joining i mean, i wish i knew before joining youtube like i always say nobody introduced youtube to me nobody taught me the basic i watched some amazing youtubers i saw what they were doing and i said okay why not join i started watching videos and that was how i joined YouTube. so some of these things nobody taught me i never knew about them and one of the things i'm going to be discussing is how to film hmm. how to film a video before when i started filming i would be looking at myself like when you are looking at yourself in the camera like this you will not be having direct contact eye contact as somebody is watching your video the person is supposed to be having direct contact eye contact with you but no, I never knew that. I'll be looking at myself, admiring myself as I'm talking just like this. As you can see, we are not having direct contact because I'm looking directly to myself. But when I face the lens of the camera, we have direct contact. Nobody taught me that. So after filming the video, I will see that my eyeball is in one side. My eye is on the other side. I will not be saying, ah, why am I not having direct contact? It was later on after watching so many videos, I knew that you will not be looking at yourself. You will be looking directly at the lens. So when I knew that, I started filming the back of my phone and I will position my mirror to make sure that I'm capturing my self. Yes, that's the number one thing I wish I knew when I started. If you scroll down to my video, you will see what I'm trying to say. Like, you will see the fuck up. You will see the, oh, God, I really messed up. But Shasha, we learn every day because change is the ultimate thing. Once you learn, you will change those narratives. Like, the second one is hmm, copyright. Copyright. When I first started, if I post any video, I will put music inside. Carry any music I see and put inside. Like, <laughs> put it because I'm here. Copyright. They will say this video already has copyright. This video has copyright. It was not my concern. But my own was that I was uploading videos. Uploading videos. The one that it now bought to me was when I uploaded one video and I used to see me song. When I used to be stuck, they now told me that they are going to pull the video down within 24 hours. That was when I knew that the copyright strike is a serious offense. Like, I never knew that would say me. I never knew. So, when they removed the video, I did not even delete the video. It was YouTube that removed the video. That was when I knew that copyright is a serious offense. I have to go back to the YouTube guidelines. So go and read all their do's and so that was when I did like you use another person's song that has copyright your video will have copyright strike. <laughs> I never knew so if I had known I would not do that. And starting from that moment I stopped using people's music except it does not have a copyright strike. And the next one I'm going to be discussing is putting my videos on private, like before, if I just upload video, it will just go. I will just upload. I don't know if you put video on private or you put video of the uh, on listed or this one was I upload. I've uploaded. I never knew. Let me tell you one of the advantages of putting your video, your videos on private before you put it in public. One is that if you put it on private, it will help you to add end screen, add suggestion videos. Then also your channel is monetized. It will not help you. YouTube will check if your video have any restriction on the rest of it. Once they finish checking and they say no, and hey, you know that that video is fit to enter public. For me, I know now. I'll just upload that first time I was monetized. If I just put my video, I'll discover that I'm not even on a, 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 my dollar sign, my monetization. People have already started watching, and that, those first people that watch the video, they will not watch ads because I've not turned my ads on. <laughs> God, but Shasha, like we say, we learn every day. Basically, we learn every day. And now I always put my videos on private before 
making it public so that I can do the useful. Yes, I can do the useful before putting it in public. Like putting your videos on private really, really helps. Yes, because if you want to put end screen like suggestion videos, like videos you want them to see or you want the person to click later on after watching this particular one, if you put your video on private, you can go to that later before releasing that video in public. Then another one you can get one is soft for soft. Like if you are a new YouTuber and you, you are doing soft for soft, my dear, forget it. Those people will not come back. Those people are not interested in your channel. Like to be sincere, they are not interested in your channel. They just subscribe because you soft for them and they soft for you. Like they are not interested in your content. Maybe that person is doing a gaming video. That person is doing a style video. That person is doing a video and you you are doing food what concern the person with food and a so the person just subscribes to so to the person just subscribes to support your channel the person is not subscribed because he loves what you are doing and because the person wants to come back later no the person just supported you because you supported the person that is so for so mm, i never knew that it was very very bad and they will just be subscribed to subscribe they will not come back to watch your other videos and it is not good for your channel because at least if people subscribe because they love your content when you upload regularly they will come back to watch that is why having a niche is very very important i never knew that having a niche also was an important thing i will just upload today i, I did there is this one i will upload tomorrow i saw this one i will upload that's why i have this one i will upload no i never knew that you are supposed to have a niche like you are supposed to concentrate on one thing. You started your YouTube channel because you love cooking. Oh yeah, be cooking so that people that love watching cooking videos will come and watch. They subscribe because they love food. They subscribe because they love different, seeing different recipes. Let your channel be known for that. Then if you are doing a style, eh, let the people that subscribe know that anytime they come to your channel, they are going to see different a styles to watch. If they subscribe for gaming, like different games they subscribe because they know that when they come back they will see those gaming videos to watch mm, that is niche so if you if you are always filming concerning food concentrate on that because people that subscribe they always expect that when they come back to your channel they are going to see food videos to watch mm. i have i have one video that has to wanting k views like that video that i just uploaded because as i was when i was looking for 4k watch hour and the rest of it i just uploaded and i saw that the video is doing well if i upload any video that is close to that that is aligned with that video people always watch because they subscribe to watch those kind of videos so if you are starting up your youtube channel concentrate on one niche and uh, maybe because you are looking for so for so maybe because you are looking for subscribers you are looking for watch hour you can be doing what you know how to do best but immediately you get that let your channel be known for one thing yes so that people that subscribe they can come back and watch your video because they subscribe for that particular niche I just hope you enjoyed watching this video. Until we meet again in our next video, remain blessed and God bless you. Please don't forget to give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. And see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.